Hi, this is the review of the Sennheiser HD598 audiophile headphone. These are supposedly the best audiophile headphone you can find for under $200. These had these, they call them European sport car color. Uh, kind of odd, most headphones are typically either butt or white. These are more like beige, uh, like a tan beige. And then you have these little tan velour padding. And then, uh, you know, really soft padding up top here. I'm personally not an audiophile. I love listening to music and I've been listening to music all my life. I love playing music, but I never really get into the really expensive headphone because I never really had a reason to. Uh, my most expensive pair of headphones was really an in-ear monitor from Shure. It was about $100 by a while back and it was decent. I also go to a lot of in-ear headphones because I like to use them because they are discreet and uh, they're pretty comfortable. But I really never see the need to buy uh, these big headphones like this. Uh, it's only when I start working at a desk job that I notice I need some nice isolations for nice music uh, to get me through the day and uh, that's when I start looking for headphones. Uh, it was between these and basically the Audio Technica M50X and the M50X had everything I wanted but I, from what I understand I was doing a lot of review and reading and I turned out that I wanted more sound stage you know a better um, instrument separation and uh, I ended up getting these after watching a several YouTube video and uh, you know a bunch of different reviews on the different uh, forum. After about a month and a half of using these, I can't believe that I did not get these before. These are really amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at them real quick. Uh, they come with these really nice velour pad. They are extremely soft. I wear them for around five to eight hours a day doing works and I have no problem with uh, you know my head getting hot or my ears getting warm. And uh, one in a while I had to take it off to go do something but I will come back and it's extremely comfortable. I uh, really love these. Uh, they come with these headphones. It's a really long cable, I believe it's 12 feet long. On this end you have this proprietary Sennheiser plug. It's basically a 3.5mm plug but it has this little knob in it. And it goes in like this. And they lock in place so it doesn't go out and you can just twist to take it out. Uh, I would recommend when you um, take them on the row. You unplug these and you don't leave them plugged in when you carry them in carrying case so that you don't bend this cable. It's an expensive cable like 20-30 bucks. Uh, the other end it comes with a 6.5 millimeter jack and it also comes with an adapter for three and a half. Uh, at work I have an amp uh, which I use to plug this guy in and it works quite well. The problem with using one of these adapters from the big to the small adapter to the three and a half is that if you put, for example you look into my phone here, the iPhone, you can see you have this long little cable here and you know it can hold its own weight but over time if you accidentally bump it you could break this thing up you end up with a jack inside here and that will be very bad. Alright let's talk about sound quality. Uh, sound quality on these, they are superb. If you ever listen to classical music before or let's say some jazz music uh, in your normal other you know cheap headphone 30 to 50 dollar headphone they sound nice and I didn't really notice any different and when I, you put these on you realize how much music you've been missing uh, listen to song that you have before even stuff like Jack Johnson you know Jason Mraz those kind of thing you starting to hear these nice instrument these nice bass and these nice vocal that come you know the really deep deep sound that just come out of nowhere it's, it was really amazing uh, I'm not a audiophile again so I can't you know, I can't tell how good these are compared to the thousand dollar headphone, but to me these are basically the best pair of headphones I ever own. Uh, you can hear the different instrument really stand out and it's really nice. Uh, one other thing to mention is that you don't really have to, you know, most audio fellow will tell you that, you know, you have to listen to the best source in the world. And that's true, but uh, you don't really have to. I put these on, plug in, you know, plug into my computer and uh, turn on Spotify and play some music and it works perfectly fine. Uh, you will notice some of the bad recording you will notice you will really hear all the crackle and everything but you don't really need to have flock to you know to have really good sound and that's something that uh, you know a lot of people always say like you have to have really good amp, really good headphone, really good source to get really good sound and that's definitely true if you're really into that but really mp3 sound really good on these and I have no problem with them and I use it on my iPhone also and no problem with them. Um, the other thing I want to mention is that these are open back, so which means sound will leak through them and you can actually hear people talking to you. Uh, that is something you might want to consider if you are at workplaces. 
Uh, I know my workplace, uh, we are not too big into it, so I listen to music as long as I don't turn up too loud. It doesn't really bother that many people, but you they do hear your music, so be, be aware of that. I have this microfiber cloth on my headphone here to simulate the headphone being wear, and you can kind of hear the sound leak through it. So I'm going to play a song right now. Had a volume up about halfway. Now all the way up. Uh, by the way, that was on my iPhone 5S, and with the volume all the way up, it's quite loud. Uh, so definitely, you don't need an amp to push these, but an amp does make a big difference, and it sounds really nice with an amp. It will bring out those really nice notes. Again, as you can hear, the sound was quite loud uh, all the way up. At about 80%, people can start hearing your music, and my friends at work can really you know they can really understand what my song is saying they can hear the note and the lyric of the song so uh, keep that in mind overall these are really nice headphones and I highly recommend it to those of you who's looking for a nice pair of headphones to listen to uh, any kind of music really if you are really into the heavy um, you know today music with really heavy bass really heavy treble the, the fast music I would suggest go with something like the M50X uh, but these to me work really well for all general purpose listening and they sound really balanced and really nice. I do have a pair of M50X coming so I want to see the difference between this and those. I know that's a close back so you're going to get a little bit more bass and you know there will be a little bit more noise isolation. So I'm interested to find out soon how those sound compared to these. Uh, another thing I want to point out is that these are under $200. They are on Amazon for like 180 right now. And if you can't afford these and you want to go for something a little bit cheaper, you might want to look at the uh, HD558. The 558 is basically have the identical driver, which means they have the same speakers as these. And uh, they are a little bit cheaper. They're like, you know, 120, 130, a little bit cheaper. Uh, the difference between that one and this one supposedly is the sound stage. Uh, the, the way they design inside is slightly different. Um, I hope a lot of you on forum they like to mod them and stuff to get them to sound similar like this. One of my colleagues at work saw me have one of these on and asked me about them. And I told him about Sennheiser and the various different offerings they have. And uh, I recommend the 558 to him. He got it and I put them on and I listened to that and just playing the same exact song. And I could barely notice the difference, at least in your, your typical popular music. Um, if you listen to maybe some classical music with high, really high quality source, you may notice the difference in, in instrument separation and a bit more clarity in these uh, because the way they are designed. But overall, they sound about the same to me, so I, you know, that was kind of a surprise. Well, I hope this review has been helpful for you in uh, your purchase decision. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.